So I'm doing a request today. Uh, someone named Rayla wanted me to cover the map Bounce. I'm assuming in both this and Team Fortress Classic. Uh, I'll do it prop like do it in Half Life proper first this time, because you know that makes a lot more sense in covering it in a game that's not really supports it, except it kind of does. Anyway, uh, yeah, Bounce. I s have spent a stupid amount of time on this map. Um. I don't want to say that this is the best map for deathmatch, or even, like even in the game. Like, if, <sighs> what I meant to say was that I don't know if this is my favorite map in Half-Life Deathmatch. Uh, I'm gonna say that a map called Rapid Core might be like my actual favorite, uh, alongside Boot Camp. But I've spent a lot of time on this map, and for good reason. It's really open, uh, works well with more than like you know a relatively large amount of people. And there's just a lot of interesting things on it. I think this is supposed to be based around a segment of the introduction, like, like chapter of Half-Life, Black Mesa Inbound. Um, I don't know, but, like, the canyon really reminds me of that one part with the helicopter and you're in the tram. I'm not sure. But, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, I've showed off a little bit of the map. The lake area's got some goodies, like the long jump, shotgun, you know, the Hornet. Up here, so you might not be aware, but there's a revolver, and this is a very good place uh, to like camp uh, unsuspecting players that are, like aren't as used to the map. Or you can even take this uh, revolver, and you know if you're good with sniping, yeah, you got a good spot. I've been hit by like headshots from like all the way over here. Like just uh, there's you don't ever underestimate the aim of some of the people that play this game. But yeah, don't ever, one thing, don't ever play this game with realistic fall damage, because if it's realistic, you've lost all your health there. No fun. Now, the, this map gets its name from these things, but hence the term bounce, which I always, uh, just a little aside, I thought the single player Half-Life underutilized those criminally. They show up like more than like 70% through the game, and the few times you use them, they're just like completely... In, like, either frustrating moments of the game, like the Gargantua, or, like, you know, the chapter Forget About Freeman. Or, or, like, they're, like, one use. They have one single use, and it's over. So, yeah, that, like, this is, um, the separator of the map here. Uh, this isn't a symmetrical map. You got some goodies on top of there. If you go up there, there's a nice little shortcut to get on top of that. But... If you're good, if you like sniping and you like get tired of the revolver, well, here you go. You get a you get a crossbow here. The only terrible thing is that you know they don't get a lot of ammo, so you know you gotta you can only get a few shots in before you gotta move down. So you know, pick your poison. You either stay and like you know get a few good shots, or you come down and risk getting shot, but you know potentially find more ammo. On this side, uh. You got a little, another little open area. You got a building, which I'll show off in a second. Let me just kind of do a little speed run over here with my long jump. Uh, th this is an interesting thing. I'll show you with the building in a second, but you can get into the building from another area down here. This area of the map, this side of the map has got all the really crazy weapons. You got a rocket launcher, which is not that good on this map. I gotta be completely honest, it's just a little too open. You got your gauze gun, so, you know, if you don't have the long jump, this is a good way to get around the map. Do, like, insane stuff like this and just go over there fast. Or at least in theory, without me frickin' it up there, so... You know, oh, oh well. I really gotta reiterate, don't play this map with realistic fall- Don't play any Half-Life- Don't play Half-Life Deathmatch's realistic fall damage on, it's just- it's stupid and boring. You just- a lot of these maps lose their charm. But if you go down here, this is where you can get the gauze gun. So yeah, that's about the whole map. It's very, like, it's not, like, you know, there's not a whole lot to learn about it, but it's very well organized, in my opinion, and it's just, there's a lot of, like, good places to either, like, camp if that's your thing, or ambush, or just be silly and goofy and run around. In my opinion, it kind of fits all play styles. There's a lot of, especially with the long jump that you can run and gun, like, with the shotgun in hand, because it's a little bit more open, but not too open. It's good for camping. You got this water area. It's like you know, it's just it's got everything. It's got everything a growing boy needs in Half Life Deathmatch. Let's play. I forgot to mention the uh, creators of this map. This was not done by Dario Caselli. I've been bringing up his name a lot, and I thought he did all the at least the ones the Half Life Deathmatch maps that launched with the game. I thought he did all them, but no. This was done by three people: uh, John Guthrie, Dave Riller, and Doug Wood. I think I said all those right. 
Uh, yeah, so, yeah, there you go. Guys, look at this! Oh! Destruction. So good. Of course, somewhat limited ammo, but you know, still, that's a good feeling. It makes me feel good about myself to take an Egon and just send it all over the place. most of the weapons underwater. Come on, this is supposed to be fast-paced arcade frantic action. Why are you carrying that? Why are you gonna do that? You're, you're diluting the experience. Freaking 
crouch jump there. Give me a high five, goodness gracious. One of my favorite things too is that the uh, throwable objects and explosives bounce off of that too. It's so good. They really like are criminally underused the about the alien bounce pads, or whatever you want to call them. If you want to be annoying, spam the grenades too. Like, most human players will catch on and, like, try to kill you after a while, but, you know, not JK Body. No siree. Nah, I'm getting bored, I'll stop. Yeah, uh, Bounce, a classic map. One of my favorite Half-Life Deathmatch maps. Um, I'm gonna say I prefer uh, boot camp to this, but this is easily top two or three in my opinion. Yeah, go play it.